Hi there, welcome to Paint the Kitchen Red. I'm Nina and I share instant pot tips and recipes on my blog, Paint the Kitchen Red. I am here today to talk about the Instant Pot Duo Gourmet. The Instant Pot Duo Gourmet is an exclusive partnership currently with Costco and between Costco and the Instant Pot Company. By the time you watch this video, it's possible it may be available at other retailers. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to use this Instant Pot, the parts, uh, how to do a water test, which is basically your pressure cooking water. And the reason you do a water test is uh, two reasons. One is to make sure that the Instant Pot is uh, actually working properly so that you don't have, you can figure out early that you don't have a defective unit. And the second is just to familiarize yourself with the Instant Pot, how it works. Just water is just something really simple and easy. And so you get over that first experience um, with something that you can't go wrong with. So that's why we're going to do the water test. Uh, now this, uh, when you uh, see this box and you look at the Instant Pot and you see the buttons, it can be kind of intimidating. It's kind of a scary appliance. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the most commonly used buttons. You don't have to learn how to use all the buttons because to be honest with you, I have quite a few Instant Pots and I get by with just using like five of the functions. So um, I'll go over uh, the other buttons briefly, but mainly I'm going to go over the commonly used functions, um, in particular the pressure cook mode. So one of the things I hear about from people is that they are uh, afraid to use the Instant Pot because they've heard stories from their grandma about how the pressure cooker exploded or something like that. Well, this is not your grandma's pressure cooker. The Instant Pot company has built a lot of safety features into the Instant Pot. So if you do make a mistake or you do something wrong, uh, there are error codes that will pop up and that will allow you to correct whatever mistake that you made. So there's really nothing to be worried about in terms of safety. And the other thing I hear about from people is that they waited too long to open the Instant Pot, I mean the box, get the Instant Pot out of the box and use it. And so what happens in that situation is uh, the Instant Pot is not under warranty and they can't return it to the store uh, if there's something wrong with the Instant Pot when they open it. And then so at that point they're out of luck. They're just stuck with this big appliance, an expensive appliance that uh, is completely useless. So for that reason alone, I urge you to get the Instant Pot out of the box and I'll meet you back here to get started. The Instant Pot comes with a couple of manuals and you also have a full manual available online. This is a measuring cup for rice a couple of spoons, a steam rack or trivet for doing pot and pot cooking or for raising up your food, silicone mini mitts, which are really handy, and an extra sealing ring that you can use for desserts or you can just save it as an extra. And this is your power cord. Let's go over the lid. This is the lid handle. Here we have the lid fins and you use them to prop open the lid. I'll show you that in a minute. This is a steam release valve and it rotates pretty freely and you pull on it to take it out. And when you push it back in, make sure you push it in all the way. Here we have the steam release button and you push on it to release steam and you turn it counterclockwise to put it back into the sealing position. This little metal piece is called the float valve and you can access it from the inside and when you push on it, it goes up and down. Now let's turn the lid over and I'll show you the parts on the inside. This is the ceiling ring and you can gently pull on it all the way around to get it out of the ceiling ring rack. And when you put it back in, make sure that you push it in all the way around. The ceiling ring might be a little tight when you first get the Instant Pot, but it does loosen up as you use it. 
and make sure you push it in all the way. If you have a part sticking out, you can have issues with the Instant Pot pressurizing. If the sealing ring has been put in properly, then you should be able to rotate it in place. It may be hard to do, but it should move in the sealing ring rack. Here we have the float valve. Once again, I'm gonna remove it by taking off the silicone cover and the float valve just pops right out. Be careful, don't lose it. And then stick it right through the hole again and cover it with the silicone cover to put it back in place. This is the lid locking pin. This is the pin that engages the lid and keeps it locked when your Instant Pot pressurizes. And here we have the anti-block shield. I use a silicone trivet to remove the anti-block shield. It pops right off. And you may sometimes need to clean it if you're cooking messy foods and push it right back in. If you wanna use your fingers to remove the anti-block shield, you can do that. I find it easier to use the silicone trivet or a dishcloth to remove the anti-block shield. We put the liner or inner pot into the base unit and we prop the lid open by putting the lid fin into the lid fin slot. There are lid fin slots on both sides of the Instant Pot so you can prop it open either on the right or left side. Slide the condensation collector onto the back of the base unit into the notches and push it in all the way. Plug the power cord into the base unit and then plug it into the wall, and that'll turn on the display. To close the lid, you line up the arrow on the lid with the arrow on the base unit with the picture of the open lock. Turn the lid clockwise until the arrow on the lid is lined up with the arrow on the base unit with the picture of the closed lock. To open the lid, you turn it counterclockwise and lift it up. Now we're ready to do the water test. Pour two cups of water into the inner pot of the Instant Pot Dual Gourmet. Close the lid. And press pressure cook and plus or minus until you get to five minutes. So it'll say zero, 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 five. The display will change to on the first time you use the Instant Pot, you may smell a plasticky smell. There's nothing to worry about. This is normal for some Instant Pots. It shouldn't happen again. And uh, in a little bit, you'll start to see steam coming out of the steam release valve and the float valve. And eventually the float valve will go up and the Instant Pot will be pressurized. Soon the display will change from on to 0005. This may take a few minutes, so be patient. And then it's going to count down from 5 all the way down to 0. This is obviously going to take 5 minutes, but I've sped up this video so you can see how it happens. Once it gets to 0, uh, it'll now count up if you have it in the keep warm mode. So it'll go from zero to one and count up until you press cancel. Now let's do a quick release by pressing the steam release button and eventually the float valve will go down and you can open the Instant Pot by turning the lid counterclockwise and lifting it straight up. Now watch out for the steam now we're gonna put the lid fin into the lid fin slot to prop the lid open. You have enough information now to get going with your Instant Pot, but I just wanted to go over the display panel and show you some important functions. Uh, you can go over this part of the video later once you've done the water test in case you find it confusing. So the first thing we're gonna do is press the pressure cook button and when you press the pressure cook button repeatedly, it toggles between less, normal, and more. And these are just preset times like you would have on your microwave. And you can customize these times. And you can do the same for the other buttons like the soup button. You just keep pressing it multiple times to toggle between less, normal, and more. And that's how most of the buttons work. 
To change the pressure level between low and high, you select the button, also known as the smart function, and then press the pressure level button multiple times to toggle between low and high. To turn on and off the keep warm function, just press the keep warm button. If you want to do a delay start, then you press the pressure cook or whatever smart function and then press the delay start button. And you can adjust the hours by pressing plus or minus. And you can adjust the minutes by pressing delay start twice and pressing plus or minus to adjust the minutes. The display will stop blinking after a few seconds and it'll beep. And what that means is your Instant Pot will turn on in six hours and 30 minutes and perform whatever smart function you've selected. In this case, we've selected the pressure cook function and it'll start pressure cooking in six hours and 30 minutes. Another useful button that you'll use is the saute function. The saute function allows you to saute foods before and after you pressure cook. You can also use it to heat up foods, to simmer soups, and so it's very useful. You use it with the lid off, and you press multiple times to go through the less, normal, more, which is just preset times for sauteing. Well, I think you're ready to use your new Instant Pot. I would suggest you use a simple recipe like boiled eggs or steaming vegetables or something like that, something easy to get you going. And then as you use it more, you will build up confidence and you'll be able to use, do more complicated recipes. Another piece of advice I um, tell people is that uh, when you find a recipe online, make sure you read the comments and make sure it's a uh, tried and tested recipe that, uh, that you can have some confidence in. All the recipes on my blog are tried and tested and I, I vouch for them. If you have any questions or you have any issues, just you can comment on the blog or you can even comment here on this video and I'll do my best to help you out. So I hope you enjoy your new Instant Pot and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, stay tuned for more videos about the Instant Pot.